hi everyone, it's Sid the Seagull here, <laughs> and it's story time, hey, <laughs> oh, I love stories, in fact there's only one thing I like more than a story, and that's a day out at the beach, ha <laughs> ha, hands up if you like going to the beach, hey, <laughs> yeah, I love it, <laughs> especially when I'm surfing on my surfboard, whoa, <laughs> yeah. Oh, what other things do you like to do on the beach, boys and girls? Paddling, yeah. What else? Uh, sunbathing, eating ice cream, picking chips out of the bin, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, <coughs> that's just me. <laughs> it's a seagull thing. <laughs> I'll get over it. Oh, yeah, and building sandcastles. <laughs> hey, well, I'm a bit of an expert when it comes to building sandcastles. And so my story today is all about the time there was a sandcastle competition at Crew Beach. Huh. There was going to be a special celebrity judge all the way from France. Hey, <laughs> his name was Philippe Flop. Flip Flop. <laughs> Chicken Flip Flop. <laughs> may we, may we. <laughs> all the crew were going to enter. Well. I couldn't think what to build at first, but can you guess what Sparky built? <laughs> yeah, he built his in the shape of a giant carrot. <laughs> Sparkle moulded her sand into the shape of a tiara. And Lizzie's sandcastle was best of all because she made hers in the shape of a running machine. <laughs> she even used a couple of brooms for the handles. <laughs> She reckons running is good for remembering things because it jogs the memory. Ah, <laughs> it jogs the memory. <laughs> oh, where do I get this from? <clears throat> anyway, whose castle have I missed out, boys and girls? Hmm, that's right, Narkies. <laughs> After the crew had built their sandcastles, he suddenly appeared on the scene driving a great big digger. Oh. He drove it towards a space on the beach, flattening Sparky's carrot castle on the way. Oh. What do you want that big digger for, Narky? I asked. To build my castle, of course, said Narky. I'm going to make the biggest castle you've ever seen and win the competition. Huh. Well, he was supposed to use a bucket and spade like the rest of us boys and girls. But anyway, he built his big castle and it was almost the same height as him. Cuh! I said to Sparky that he could help me build my castle instead and we would enter together. Huh. All I needed was a good idea for what to build. Just then, Narky announced that his castle was nearly finished and that he was going to win the competition. Not because his castle was the best, but because he was going to wreck the other entries. Cah! And he ran towards Lizzie's running machine. He jumped up in the air and landed right on top of it, squashing it flat. Oh, sand flew everywhere. Narky, said Lizzie, that's not very nice. You've just ruined my castle. Never mind, Lizzie, I said. You can help me build mine. But Narky wasn't listening, boys and girls, because he started running towards the only castle that was left. Do you know whose that was? That's right, Sparkle's Castle. Oh, built in the shape of a tiara. Oh, hers was really good. She had built it in a little semicircle with three pointed shapes in the front just like the front of her tiara. And around the bottom, she'd carefully placed a load of seashells. And on top of each point, she'd put a little white pebble, just like a jewel, oh, that sparkled in the sunlight. Just like sparkle. Oh, oh. Uh, um, <coughs> yes, anyway, on with the story. <coughs> Narky raced towards her castle and with one kick of his foot he knocked it over and shells and the pebbles went everywhere. Cah! 
Narky, said Sparkle, you've totes ruined my sandcastle. And he just laughed. Ha! Never mind, Sparkle, I said. There's still plenty of time to build another entry before the judge comes round. So you can help me as well. And we'll all enter the competition together. Hey! <laughs> Oh, do your worst, cos I'll knock over whatever you build as well, said Narky. And even if I don't, my castle is still the best. Ahaha! <laughs> Here, I'm good at impressions, aren't I, boys and girls? <laughs> I then had a great idea. Let's make our castle in the shape of a multicoloured chip pan, I said. We'll call it the Rainbow Fryer. <laughs> Sparky dropped the plans and I fetched the sand and Lizzie took charge. But Narky would just try and knock it down again, said Sparkle. Oh, she's so clever. Huh. Um, that's what I'm counting on, said Lizzie. And with that, she took us all around the other side of a sand dune to build our new sandcastle. Out of sight of Narky, who was now putting the final touches on his castle. Huh. Just then, Narky peered over the top of the sand dune to see our brilliant creation. It was his last chance to wreck it, and so he ran towards it, foot outstretched, ready to kick it down. Look out, said Sparky. Watch out, I shouted. Stop him, said Sparkle. It's okay, leave him said Lizzie. Huh? Are you sure? We all cried. Yes, I'm sure, said Lizzie. And we all stepped aside. And with that, we watched as Narky went to kick our castle down. He drew his foot back and gave out a rotten laugh. Everyone give out a rotten laugh after three. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, here, I sound like a pirate then, didn't I? <laughs> Brilliant. And then he went whack with his foot against our castle. Except it didn't fall over. It stayed firm. And Narky said, Ow! Ow! My foot! Ow! Ow! And he hopped off holding his toe. He tripped as he was hopping and fell into his own castle, knocking it over. <laughs> oh, but how come our castle stayed up? I asked Lizzie. Hmm, because I built it over a great big solid boulder, said Lizzie. <laughs> and that's why Narky stubbed his toe. And it serves him right, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the judge arrived and we were awarded first place. Hooray! <laughs> Come on, everyone, give us a cheer after three. One, two, Three, hooray! <laughs> yeah! Well, <laughs> that's it for story time for now, boys and girls. I've got to go now, so I'll see you soon, yeah? Take care, everyone. Bye bye! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> digging it! Dig digging it? Ah, I can't believe I just wrote that! Did you hear me? I just wrote that! <laughs> and, oh, forget it. Oh. See you soon, everyone. Take care. Bye bye! Yeah! <laughs>